Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very sad day because I, Stifer, the person you know better, playing our favorite game, Prime World Defenders 2. I, I am, I am really sad because it's the final countdown of four hours and four minutes. And I haven't received my whole set of towers after 748 rows. <sighs> well, I guess I should give a five less tries. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, uh, I don't know. I haven't received 500 stars. I have received only three red runes. I haven't received much from the game since the new event has showed up. But I guess it is for this. I guess this is what the game wants to do. I guess this might be the reason that I should keep trying again and again and again and again. And again, and over, and over, and over again. But I'm thinking, why me? Why is this happening to me? I don't get it. But, at the end of the day, I am uh, thinking to myself. Well, if this were this, we have to stand up and we have to be strong. Because I'm Slifer. And today I am going to talk about the event who is just about to end. Right, Nivos um, have made a really nice update of the game, uh, allowing us to um, have a chance to win 5 towers. I did manage to earn 3 of the towers, which are most easily um, winnable. Uh, first tower you can get is Sky Burner. This is outstanding, really nice damage tower. No matter what, no matter what the people will gonna tell you, this is a tower which is providing you um, with a bonus tower. Let's say it like this: every Sky Tower, it's a tower you can deploy on spaces which usually you will never be able to deploy before this update. SkyEye, for me, is the most useful and the most um, powerful tower for PvE. Not for PvP, for PvE. Um, the radius is tremendous, if you want to do radius. Uh, the DPS is up to 73, uh, sorry, 67,000 damage per second and I mean <clears throat> I mean yeah that's that's a lot you, you know what I'm saying yeah so this 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 is reveals invisible the text uh, the creeps in fog oh this is this is mental this is insane I barely use this tower with every level I'm playing because I First of all, love the way this eye is moving, <laughs> and uh, I do love um, the pyramids they have created. The first tower, you are possibly uh, easy to uh, earn in this uh, event and contest, was the flying cannon. Flying cannon have only one. Um, I would say uh, only one minus, and this is it's targeting on the ground creeps only. The damage, ladies and gentlemen, is tremendous. Right, usually we all know the brand new air guards from the Legis, from the Legis version, uh, which have uh, white, snow, um, white snow star on the front, and it's up to eight stars. It's really powerful with really a lot of DPS. But when you say about tower who can shoot grounds, this is the tower with the most DPS per second than any other tower in the game. This is stronger tower 
more stronger even than um, our uh, Sun Tower. Because even when you um, actually uh, think how much damage this tower can do and what, whatever and however and stuff like this, uh, Tower of the Sun is not that, um, sorry, not Sun Tower, Tower of the Sun is not that um, powerful as the Flying Cannon. Flying Cannon is the third legendary tower um, and it's really, really, really strong. I, of course, just made my towers to the very top of the top. Um, I hardly suggest to anyone who have this flying cannon to put only DPS rooms. You need two rooms for upgrades, which are the first room, skill room one, four upgrades and nine damage. Uh, skill room four, which is nine uh, damage and four upgrades. One, two deadly runes. Um, I am hardly recommending spy rune uh, because it gives you 17% DPS and to block it above all the flying enemies. And no matter what, you still need um, rune for uh, DPS for some damage for this tower. Uh, I know it's not blocking the path of underground of uh, flying enemies or underground enemies if you deploy the um, other um, room. Give me a second, I have so much rooms. It's actually incredible. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't think I got. Yeah. Even if you uh, manage to have uh, light blue rooms, uh, root room, which is giving you the same amount of damage, which is 17%, not 14 like that one. Uh, and blocking the buff on the grounds does not block the buff of any of the creatures um, in the game because they're usually floating in the air. Um, I highly recommend my rune because give you 30% more damage and swift rune at the end because this is the only one possible rune you can actually uh, put in um, the seventh slot of the runes. Right, flying cannon have up to 380,000 damage per every smash every seconds. One third of the million. It's a lot. This is this is this is insane. This is incredible. Um, I know a lot about the towers because I haven't managed to receive my sky burner, uh, which is legendary version of uh, the normal sky burner. Uh, burner. I haven't received my sky eye, which is the legendary uh, version of my legendary sky eye. And the thing with this star is she can move. Uh, I saw a couple people um, showing uh, some videos in our Facebook page, which is Prime World Defenders to uh, Fans page group. Uh, this is a closed group, and if you ask uh, to be in um, to be invited in uh, the group or apply for um, membership. Uh, I definitely will go in there and I will prove it because I am a funding member and I am actually the um, the moderator of the group. But we're more active in the group than in the Facebook, uh, than in uh, the Facebook page. So look for our group, Prime World Defenders to Fans page group, and they have shown me glitches how you can stack all. I think there were six towers, I'm not too sure. Yeah, six towers at one slot. Do you know what I'm saying? Which is... <clears throat> I do think this is a glitch. But ain't matter what, I think they will fix it. I will tell you why later. But this is this is just tremendous. This is This is, I don't know. Flying Cannon with 20% more damage for 380,000 damage. This is over 415,000 damage, which is nearly half million damage. Every single smash on the ground enemies. So if you have 400k DPS, what are you going to do? Well... You're going to win some levels, I will tell you that. <laughs> um, Flying Smasher is one outstanding and incredibly, incredibly overpowered tower. I think they are four towers of the max amount. 
I would have thought. I don't know it. I just seen pictures in our uh, Facebook group and uh, some videos about this tower. But this tower floats in the air, drops stones that roll to the nearest creep uh, appearance and stun creeps for uh, up to 1.4 seconds. But does not block uh, the creeps and is ground on. Right. In PvP, 1.7 seconds for every single creep this tower hits and yes and this is a ground enemy means you can beat up hell of a levels this is the best new pvp tower for pve this is not too strong because it's too expensive every update will cost you 25 and it's actually more like um support tower I don't know what they said this area damage because this DPS is just come on really I'm like really but this tower does not have any chance to hit and just turn the creep she just hit the creep and she's turned the creep so you don't need to spend any single room for a hit chance this is 100% hit chance and every time this rock here go and smash creep the creep is just done for one point uh three four or seven seconds i'm not too sure and this is this is just come on really i'm like this this is this is i'm speechless flying primer esther i think is run really good as well but the thing with it is pretty much lower DPS than uh, the Smasher. And I would have thought it will go up to how much? 310, 320,000 damage. No matter what runes you're going to put on it. But this is really good because it's hitting grounds and flying creeps. And this damage for every single creep passing by is just just tremendous this is this is but i do i do prefer more the flying cannon than um the flying primer esther because there are too many towers who can actually uh counter the flying creeps right a lot of people have complained they haven't received the stars i haven't received them as well okay i haven't received them as well right now you can see i am just one of my uh flying smasher so this, it is it is what it is i will tell you something i am not 100 not sure i am million percent sure they will save our progress and the next time when you see an actual event for a sky up towers or whatever towers they will create your progress will be saved so next time when i start the game and the event i think i will have 743 uh rows already saved in through the uh, event so don't get panic don't be mad at the game this is just a game we play the games for fun and we play the games for joy only we're gamers we come to play because we love the games we don't come to play to compare ourselves to to actually have this mad competition like oh he's number one uh, that's because she's paying to win no 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 this game is no pay to win i have given my many like probably i i have read probably like 100 comments everywhere in the official facebook page of uh, prime world defenders 2 in our page and in some texts in some messages it's it's mental but the people saying the rewards are too poor Look at the rewards. Right, I will tell you something. Right, before this event, yeah, I will start from the keys if I find them today. Sorry. <clears throat> keys? Hello? Hello? Anyone? Hello? Keys? Oh. 10. Whoa, 10 keys. Whoa, what the heck? That was really OP. First of all, it's 10 keys. How you are receiving keys you're receiving keys by 
managing to um, do some missions. In the missions, they're pretty much more hard than the normal. So you gain 10 keys. Here, I am allowed to earn 5 keys per mission. So, every mission I have to get 15 random cards from the booster to find 5 chests to win 3 normal battles, 3 ride battles and to win 3 hard modes. Sorry, a hard mode in the three different battles. So, I have to do a lot to get even 10 keys, okay? Right, runes. They're the most runes, they are green, as you've seen. Not many uh, uh, purple, not many red, not many blue. They are mostly green. I am absolutely agreed with it, and I'm absolutely supporting. I'll tell you why in a second. Resources, only 200. I am absolutely agree with it. Shards, 5 for normal, 10 for special, uh, 10 for uh, legendary, and, and, and that kind of stuff. 10 shards for a low level player, it's absolutely genius. This is brilliant. Silver, you can earn from 1000, 5000, up to 50,000 silver. Stars, you can earn from 100 stars, 300. 500 stars. This is 500 stars. You can earn some all purpose gear and chance, which is brilliant. You can earn some blessed hammers, which will help you to actually um, update your towers. Uh, you can earn some epic all purpose gear and chance, which is absolutely good for your sky burner. Okay, so. I said that to a person. Imagine if me, Slifer, as the beginning, spends 2k stars and have this rose. And I have managed to earn this tower, this tower, and this tower. The first normal towers, not the liege versions. And I am the person who has no money. I will earn only red runes and stuff. I will try to merge it because they have made the biggest of fun update. I made myself only light blue runes. It will give me by 5k resources every time, by 60k silver every time, by 20 or 50 shards every time, by 500 stars every single time or all. Or at least 10 stars to 500 stars. Imagine you rolling and every time receiving a really massive reward. This will be un balance it because imagine if me person who never spent money on the game i'm actually contributing to the game by making videos because i love the game i don't have money to buy nothing in there because i have family and the family is in first place but imagine if you spend 200 quid 200 dollars or 200 euro whatever you want on this game and you manage to get the first three towers what would happen if a rich bloke, lady, gentleman, or a rich person came in the game and spent more than $700 or whatever? You will buy a bunch of stars, let's say like 70, 80k stars, mental stars, and he will get all the towers, he will get the whole runes to set up for zero time, he will get mental amount of stars, mental amount of tensions, mental amount of resources, and mental amount of silver. You will go backwards, you will go to fight for a, for a mine, yeah? But you, ladies and gentlemen, will not be able to win. Because this person will have already everything, and you will be so far away from him. Because he actually paid to earn massive rewards that you might never get to the whole, whole event. The people who say this is a game, pay to win. This ladies and gentlemen right now I'm talking about is a balanced game. They don't give you big rewards, because if you can earn rewards, imagine what the other person can do. Because there is always someone which might do better than you. Okay? So consider 
that if you earn everything on this event, there will be someone who earn more than you. Okay? This event was brilliant. There's still glitches. When uh, the fly uh, creeps are passing by your towers or under the towers, your towers are just disappearing. Every time when we have updates of this game, they are releasing free Liege versions. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have five normal towers and five Liege towers. So a full amount of 10 towers. This is three times bigger than any updates Nivo have ever done. And with these rows, with these prices, with these stars, with these uh, hard golems, uh, um, with these with uh, golem hearts, with everything, this is really hard to manage. When this event finish, after 3 hours and 45, uh, 44 minutes, for all of us, all around the world, I don't know what will happen, but I'm pretty sure they will make another um, server, um, how to say, uh, update of the game. When they will try to fix every single glitch that we have taught them. So, don't be jealous, don't be this person who is thinking that they have given us nothing. They have given you opportunity to earn the towers. They have given you opportunity to earn a normal amount of resources and stars. I never hit 100 stars, I never hit 500 stars. I got only two red rooms and I have about 20 times by 5k uh, silver. And look at me, I am 743 spins already and I got nothing. But I know that Nivos are clever people and they will do something to compensate us by one way or another. Simply because this is the game we love and this is the game we like to play. Don't give up just because this event has finished. I know this is the last countdown. I know you might thinking they might never put this evidence. They will. Because if there are people like me, which are the top 100 in the world in this game, which play in the game nearly every single day, and the people who put so much effort to tell them about the glitches, problems and stuff, they will find a way to make us happy as they did through the last two and a half, nearly three years. Me, Slifer, love to play this game because this game is balanced. It's really hard to find a game in the whole world. Any matter, is it for PC, for a console, is it, is, is it for, for laptop, for a, uh, for a, some uh, a station uh, thingy or, or, or for whatever, even for a phone that is balanced. I told you in my previous video, there are a lot games which you can pay to win and if you have to pay the money you work hard for them just in the game something which is imagine uh, in in uh, uh, how to say imaginable something which does not exist this is this is this is code if no one have ever made nothing about the programs this is code this is math everything you see now this is math this is math, this is math, this is math. This, everything, everything you touch is math. And pixels. We play the games to be happy. This is our world. And if we don't like the game, if we're not happy about the game anymore, we just have to find another way to play the game or just another game to play. I'm really happy I found Prime World Defenders 2. I'm really happy I'm playing it. And if you're happy as well, put a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe down below to see another videos. And believe in the Nivo Prime Defender 2 developments. Because they know what they're doing. If they're providing us with the best looking game for the phone at the moment, without even telling us every two seconds with some stupid ads or uh, or uh, posters oh pay only ninety nine hundred thousand million dollars we'll give you the 
best item in the world. No, they're just saying, play for it, earn it, feel proud of yourself, and do what you need to do. Play, go, win, fight. This is what I'm going to do the next time the Evans comes. I'm going to fight for it. I'm going to go there and I'm going to win. What you are going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is up to you. I'm here to help. And you're very welcome to come in my Facebook page group. And to see all these people who have fight, who have climbed up in the ladders, and who are actually enjoying the game. That was Slifer for you. And after I make this video, I'm absolutely proud of every one of you who's watching this video and who is actually playing the game. Because we are the people who are actually gamers. And I'm happy to be next year. And I'm happy that you are watching this video. Thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video.